hello everyone welcome back again to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you the how i made that yellow satin dress which i bought one on my thumbnail so keep on watching so what i'm going to be using for this tutorial today is my my tape measure my scissors you can see my ruler there and my curve ruler and the material I use the my body highest measurement to cut out that fabric, that satin fabric you are seeing, that yellow satin fabric. And how what I did was that I my use my highest body measurement. You can see on my horizontal here, which is also called the round measurement. I use you can see that my hip has the highest figure. So my hip is 46.5. I divide by four. What I have is 11.6. So how I cut it out, that is the width, the wideness of the fabric. I used low point C eh? then I added extra seven inches to it. So the wider you see from there, from there to there is uh, almost uh, 20 inches, 20 inches or 90.5 inches, I think so, yeah. And also the length of the fabric was how I, where, where I wanted my, my gown to reach. So mine was above the ankle. So the length of the dress here was 59.5 here. Yeah? So this satin has a long length of 60. So what I did was that I just left out, used the long length, I didn't cut it. So the length of the dress is 59.5. So from here to there is the length of the dress. You can see from there is, is 60, from top there to that top. And also, how I fold this this uh, fabric, you can see on my bed here, yeah, is that what I did was, I added the two together. You see, it's like this. Let's say this is the top fabric. This is, this is the back pattern, the back fabric, and this is the front fabric. I added it together like this because it's a gown, yeah? I'm not adding any zip to it. So I had it together, and I used my pin to pin it. That's what I did. So you can see it's like this. It's together now. So that is what I did on that fabric. So I had it, the two, the back panel and the front panel together and I pinned it up. So when I'm measuring it, it will not move. So now I'm going to start drafting on my, on my fabric. So what I did before I drafted is I took one inch. I measured one inch from the top here today is one inch so when I now draw a straight blue line straight down so that is where I'm going to start drafting my my pattern from so the, the first thing I'm going to do here is to draft at my straight body measurement which is also called your vertical body measurement so I'm going to start with shoulder to shoulder first so my shoulder to shoulder is 16 16 inches. I had a half an inch for a sewing allowance, so it's still and a half divided by two is 8.3. So now I'm going to bring 8.3 from here to there. So from here, from the top here, I measure at 8.3. This is 8.3 here, like so. Then at 8.3 here. So, from here to my here is my shoulder, shoulder which is 8.3. So, for my neck width, yeah, from the beginning again, I measure 3 inches here like so. Then, for the neck depth, it's also 3 inches as well. I put it here like this, 3 inches. So now, I now measure... A boss out from this point here to this point I'll draw it like a boss there so now there I will now create a, a curve here because I want my neck to be curvy like a circle curve I use my this thing like this to create a curve inside the box you see or you can use your free hand to create the curve inside the box After doing that, the next thing is to now measure at my back neck depth. My back neck depth I'm going to use is one and a half inches. So I coil like this. I place it one and a half here. 
and I create a curve from this place here to this place. That's my back neck depth. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is to at the end of my shoulder to shoulder measurement under this 8.3 I'll come down by one inch then I'll take my ruler I will now connect from the end of my neck width here to the one inch under my end of my shoulder there like so so the next thing we're going to do is to now put in uh, my ham hole my ham hole is 19 the round ham hole is 19 uh, inches so I'm going to divide it by two what I have is 9.5 so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down by 9.5 I'm just going to add half an inch to it to, so for sewing allowance or to make it more like flexible so I'm going to put 10 inches down like so from here like so put it 10 inches So I'm going to connect the line from here to there. So as you can see, I've created my ham hole from here to this place. Then I now draw a line from here to this place. This line will now serve as my chest line. So what I'm going to do now is to now carry on putting my straight body measurement. So from my shoulder, to my boss point is 12.5 so what i'll just do here i'll take my tape measure like this i'll place it in at this spot here then i'll place it here like this then my shoulder to my boss point is 12.5 so here i have 12.5 here i'll mark it from my shoulder to my waist is 23 inches so here i have 23 inches here i'll mark it so like this from my shoulder to my hip is 31 inches. So here like so, I'll mark it here, 31 inches like this. So from my shoulder to the length of my dress is 59.5 inches plus 1 inches for sewing allowance. So because it's not going to be enough, I'm going to reduce it. So here, I'll just go to the end of the fabric here like so. So I didn't fabric here. Remember, I have to tidy up the bottom. So I'll just take off my tape measure because it's a gown. And then my fabric here, I'll measure at one inch here. At the end spot, one inch. This is the one inch here. Then I will now go here like this, measure at one inch here as well. Because I want to get a straight measurement at the bottom. Go to the end like this, measure at one inch. The last side measure at one inch. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to rule out straight so I'll know where my one inch is rich. Oh so as you can see I have draw out the bottom there. So what I also did was that I rule out my straight body measurements to the to this to my chest line this way so this is now be my chest line my bust point line my waist line and my hip line and that line at the bottom here is now my end my where the blouse is down gonna stop which is this place the end point so the next thing I'm going to do here you see my shoulder my ham hole here from there I'm going to Remember my ham hole was uh, 10 inches, so I'm going to measure at the middle point of the 10 inches. So what you do, you measure at the, the 10 inches, you measure it by 2. You divide by 2, what you have is 5 inches. So you go from the top here like this, to bring up 5 inches here like so. From here, use your tape measure to bring out the 5 inches. From here, the 5 inches here, you put it there. That is the midpoint. That will now serve as your midpoint here. So at this your midpoint here, you come in half inch. You look for half inch in your tape here, like so. So you can see half inch here. So get half inch very easy from your tape measure. From here, from here to here is your half inch. You should just place it here like so. And the midpoint, half inch. So you see, you get your half inch. So that will be your half inch. So 
now that i've done that the next step i'm going to do is to now put in the round body measurement also call your your horizontal body measurement the first measurement i'm going to do here is my boss point measurement so my boss point measurement is 42.5 inches so i'm going to divide it by four what i have is 10.6 inches because I have a, a boss, so I'm going to put my boss point measurement on my on my chest line measurement, which is this one. This is my chest line, and this is my boss point uh, line. So my boss point measurement is ten point six. So I'll come here like so. This is my tape measure like this. I'll place ten point six here like so. This ten point six. point six so after doing that I'll bring it down to my boss point like so I use my tape uh, uh, ruler to connect it you see that let me cover because our body is uh, not straight our body is covered so I'm gonna cover it like so yeah so now the next one I'm going to do is my Put in my waist measurement my waist measurement is 43 inches i divide by four what i have is 10.8 so i'll go to this place like so i'll put in 10.8 yeah like so it's 10.8 so what i'm going to do here also is to connect it as well with my tape measure sorry my tape with my ruler So, after doing that, I'll go to my hip. My hip measurement is 46.5. Divide by um, by 4. What I have is level 0.6. So, I'll go here like this. Like so. I'll put in level 0.6 here. Cover that like so. Then... I connect it like I said with my tape measure like this so after I do that remember here is level point six right so I'm going to go to the end of my fabric here like so to the end of my fabric when I draw that previous line I'll bring a level point six there Remember it's a free gown, level point six. That is my level point six, like so. Then I'm going to add five inches to the to the bottom there because it's a free gown. Five inches to the bottom there, like so. So, I've done that. So, the next step I'm going to do here is. So, you see, I've connected from there, like so. Then I'll push the ruler this way. I'm going to meet the half an inch and to meet the top here, like so. Then I'll also angle it here to meet. The curve here, the spot there in that place, like so. You see, they use now use your free hand to straighten it up to meet all the all the points. Use your curve to meet all the points there. This is extremely important, so you can get your measurement right. your hand to tidy up okay now that is my front um front arm hole so the next thing we're going to do now is to now do the my back part
panel ham hole. That is my back fabric. So what I'll do here, take half of the half of an inch here, half of it here, place it like so, then also connect it like this. Yeah, like this. You see what I mean? Connect it like this. That's that will now be for your back uh, pattern, your back fabric. Just also connect it like this and connect it to that spot there. Like so. This will not be for your back. So, that is it, my friends. So, that has been done. So, now we now go to the horizontal part, or you also call it the round body part. Remember, it's a free gown, so I'm not going to add extra inches to it. So it like can be free in my body. I don't want it to be too tight because I know when I was drafting it, I did not have um, my sewing allowance. I did not have my free allowances. So because I don't want this blouse to be tight because there's no zipper allowance. I mean, there's no zip. It's just a free gown. So on each spot here, I'm going to be adding uh, five inches. Now, what I'm going to do here, on my bust point, I'm going to add two inches here. Like so, my bust point. That is my free allowances. I want it to be free for my body. Two inches. Then on my waistline, I'm going to add two inches as well. Then on my hip line, I'm going to add three inches. Then I will now connect it to to the five inches with which I wish I had it at the bottom of my line. So and um, now I need a straight ruler. Before the straight ruler, let me make, let me rule out my free allowances which I had it to my fabric here like so. So I'm going to rule it out like so. Now I'm going to use that curvy ruler you saw there to connect all my allowances because our body is not straight. So I'm going to connect to the dots here this way, this way, and this way. My boss point here, I'm going to use my curve ruler to curve it in, like so, to curve it in to meet my, my chest line, like so. So this is where you need your your curve ruler to be able to cover the edges. So now I have done that, I will now take I now need a straight ruler to connect it from this place straight down. Now I need my straight ruler. So at this spot here, I connect it with five inches, which I wish I had it at the bottom yet, like so. And I'll now, I'll now mark it from there to this place. My friends, you can see that the shape of the gown is out. So now I've done the shape out. So what I'm going to do here is because I'm going to add half an inch. Sorry, not half an inch. One inch on this side. There, one inch. I'll just follow the shape of this body curve. One inch, 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 one inch. One inch to that place the one inch one inch that will not be my sewing allowance so i'm going to fold the cuff like so just fold the cuff like this like this and fold the cuff like this is one inch one inch one inch so that's how i'm going to mark it out i'll cover like this as well one inch you see so I'm going to mark it out like this. I'll follow the, the shape of the curve. One inch, yeah? So I'm going to follow the shape to the bottom. We finished drafting that the body pattern. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to now add uh, one inch at my sweater slope for attaching the front panel and the back panel together. So you need your sewing allowance at your sweater slope. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to follow the curve of my shoulder slope to bring out my one inch 
for my sewing allowance at my shoulder slope. That is very important. So if you want to get your measurement right, you have to do that. So I've done that now. So I'm just going to connect it with the lines here, like so. So having done that, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my scissors to now cut, follow the, the my drafting from here like so. I'm just going to follow here like this. This, this way, cut, 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 cut. First of all, I'll cut at the back panel first. Follow the back panel ham hole. Cut, 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 cut. Then I'll cut, cut, cut. First of all, cut the front back panel first. Cut, cut, cut. Then I'll stop. So let me finish cutting. Then I'll come back. Forget. Before I start cutting, I need to take off my pin like this and place it here like so because I don't want the fabric to move. But when it starts moving, that is when you start having problems. So I'm just going to take it like so and keep it here because I don't want it to move when I'm cutting it. I'll keep it inside the drafting. That is very important. You can see, I finished cutting it out. So the next thing I'm going to cut is to now cut at my front uh, ham, uh, my front neck and my front ham hole. So what I'm going to do here, because I place it together, I'm going to gently take off this like so. See my pain? Then you see this is the front one. So I'm going to gently cut the front neck out. I'm just going to take my time to do it slowly, 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 so that you have your right cutting. So, so the front neck is cut out now. It's cut out. So now. The back, this is the front panel ham hole. So I'm just going to cut it out slowly, slowly as well. I've changed my mind about cutting out the front ham hole because this gun I'm going to be wearing inside a booboo. So because I don't want my brow to be showing, you know, my 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 box at the at the end to be showing, I'm just going to leave it like this. Honestly, I'm not going to cut out my front uh, ham hole out to shape. I'm just going to leave it like that to be equal at the back and as to be equal at the front. So that's how I want it. But now I've finished cutting it out. So what I'm going to do now is to now unpin my fabric. So now that I've done that, I will now open it up like so. This is my back panel and this is my front panel. So This is the wrong side of the this is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side of the fabric. So because I have no zipper allowance, so I'm just going to arrange it out and add them together. My friends, this is the end of the tutorial and uh, I hope you like the tutorial. On my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to add and tidy up this uh, top, uh, sorry, this uh, gown to make it a very beautiful gown. and. Also, please watch out for the next video and I hope you have learned something today and for now stay blessed so please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos and so for now peace one love bye for now